people deluded now i'm actually quite annoyed because i'm having to do this video again because somebody called my phone and it put me off you know who you are <laughs> d um but what was i saying now obviously people i know i'd make a, a good go at this youtube stuff and just giving out content that i like i know i'm more or less everywhere i talk about young players in several different regions and people are like how do you do it i don't know how i do it myself but i can't be everywhere I can't wait till I have a team of around four or five people where we can just look at the top leagues in Europe and above from from top to bottom, really. But until that's being said, I, I can only talk about what I can in it. Um, my notes are here. They should be here, to be fair, and they should be in my hands. But um, three Dutch, play, Dutch, three Belgian youngsters that I really like all play for Anderlecht. From what I've seen of them, I think they've all got good potential, man. Again... Not watching them religiously enough to know the ins and outs, every weakness, every positive and things like that. Because I'm not sitting there and watching Belgium League or Belgium's youth leagues and things week in, week out. I watch it when I can, when time presents it or when I... Or, or Yeah, man, I can't be everywhere. I can't watch everything. I know you lot could see that I have a massive love for football, but co contrary to popular reports, I don't just want to sit down and watch football all day, you know. Sometimes, man, I want to chill off and do a couple things and, you know, chill with it, you know. Let me not bear myself. But, um, yeah, let's start with Jeremy Donku. Now, I'm not here to say he can be this, that and the third, but I feel if he develops, with all due respect to Anderlecht, but if he develops the way I believe he can, he is going to be doing some good things in football and I think he's got bigger ambitions or will have bigger things to say in football than just playing for Anderlecht. I really like him. He can play on either side of the flanks. For me, from what I've seen, I prefer him on the left-hand side because he cuts in and comes inside and links up well to expert effect. If I was a fullback, though, I would not want to play against him, people, because he's positive. You can tell he's one of them man that was watching Cristiano Ronaldo and Ronaldinho videos consistently because he's uh, he's not doing all them skills, but he's like he's he's little bounces, little ba bits of balance, little taking people on. He's a very exciting pe player, people. He's he's fairly strong as well. He's not the biggest, but he's very strong. Glides past people, man. Really looks like a player, man. He's sixteen and he's made five appearances for Anderlecht already. Liverpool, as well as other top European clubs, have to be watching him. But Liverpool have tried to get him twice, so they can admit they can see that he's certified. They can they can see very exciting man. Change of direction as well, links up well. He's like for me, he's very good man. And like I like I like how he played against Standard Liège. I think Anderlecht reserves beat them four 0 I think the highlights are actually on YouTube. I watched the whole game of that. To be fair, completely dominated man. Completely man. For me, he's the most out of the three. He's the one I like the most man. Um, be interested to see where he develops. I think he's eligible to play for Belgium at uh, um, first team level, as he has done for in the youth sides. And he's also got an A in descent, so that that's always for an interesting debate. Secondly, you've got Yari. Now I can't say his full name, but Yari, I like what I've seen of him. I think he's made eleven appearances from the information I've got online, and he's got one goal and three assists. Similar to, to Donku, he played and scored in the game against Standard Liège that I watched. And I think he's an, a, a good player as well. He's completely different. More of an attacking mid, a sort of what I like to call a 10, even if he doesn't need to play there, because he's very, very cultured. He's more he's more than players. He can do it. He's, he's not slow. I like, I like his late runs into the box, for example. But he's one of them. It's more give me the ball to feet rather than knock it into space. Very cultured. Good balance. The link-up play is there. Very decent at set pieces as well. Does things... not at, When I say at pace, I'm not meaning Walcott Road Runner stuff. I mean making decisions and, and, and things quickly. He's not dwelling on the ball. I really like I really like him, man. I like his late runs into the box, like I said, man. So the world's his oyster. And to, to be honest, if he has made 11 appearances, that shows you... Obviously, Donkul's young. He's 16 and this one's 17. Um, but this shows you that he's the next one to kind of push into the team or he's the next one to kind of get sustained playing time. I'm not sure how many minutes he's technically played, but yeah. And the final one, someone that's actually been linked with Arsenal before, He can, I think he's technically in the first team now, 19 years of age. We're going to call him Alexis because I cannot say that last name. Good right back, man. Good right right wing back, even what I'd call him. He can play on the right wing as well. From what I've seen of him, I like how he takes people on. I like how he supports attacking moves, man. And he could be someone that goes on to do better things than Anderlecht as well. Bit undecided on his potential, to be fair with you. He's 19, turning 20 later this year. Forgive me if I'm wrong. So he's the most ahead. But he's someone I like the look of, man. And Arsenal and Leon tried to get him before he signed this new duo at Anderlecht. So he can't be half bad. Um... But yeah, he's played three times in the Europa League already this season. I like him, man. He can improve a lot defensively, for instance, um, following his runners. But he's decent 1v1. And in the modern day, playing in whether you're playing at fullback, you have to be able to go forward. 
remains to be seen if he'll make it as a winger long term, but he can fill in there. And even if you look at some of his younger clips that are available on YouTube and stuff, when he's a proper kid, um, he looks to be thingy. He looks to be playing in further forward positions. So he might he might have been like me, where it's just people just... I went from being a striker in grassroots all the way down. It's so deep. All the way back. So that could have been a thing with him. But either way, man, he's still got to be consistent. But either way, these are three players I like the look of and will keep looking at as the season, as time progresses, to be fair with you. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So I'm going to keep it moving on that note. But people, deluded. Thank you for watching and pre inviting I'm out. People, your favourite YouTuber, Deluded, I'm back again. YouTube's Lucas Terrell. It's been a while since I've said that. Um, now, obviously, I'm not watching Empoli religiously. You know, I like Benassiar and things like that. In the summer, I'd be surprised. No disrespect to Empoli if he's still there. But with that being said, obviously, I'm keeping an ear and an eye out as to what is happening at Empoli. And one player I've come across, he's actually on loan there from Florentino. Is Hamed Traore. I like him. I think the two biggest strengths I could say of his is how he wins the ball back and he likes to make a challenge. And I'd also say his dribbling. He's a strong dri ball carrier is the right specific word. He's a good... Because when I say dribble, people probably think I'm talking about Ronaldo of United. I think he's a good carrier of a ball. He can box to box sort of thing. He can get his team up the field. He can hold on to the ball well. I think his passing is good, but I feel his passing statistically will probably come up as being quite wasteful at times because I don't necessarily feel he makes the right decision all of the time. But I like, it's one of them that with that being said, you know, when you like someone's intentions, like they're intending to do the right thing, like he's not afraid to try and play the brave pass. If you look at his stature and when he comes onto the football field, you'd be, or what he looks like in terms of physicality, you'd think he's going to be black boots, the defensive mid, he's anything like, he's nothing like that, man. People say they compare him to Pogba, I don't think he's anything like Pogba, but in terms of how he gets up and down the field and how he plays in the final third, to a degree, I can see it. He's very, he's quite robust, man. He's very box-to-box. -box. He's young, man. He's 19 years of age. Um, like I said, he's on loan there from Florentino and his job is next season to try and break into that team. They signed him, I think, for double figures. So they're going to um, probably, I don't even know, man. Let's just assume it was 10 mil or something. I know it weren't a cheap thing, um, but they're going to want to make a handsome profit on that. And I don't think he's ready to step up into a top, top, top team. But he is someone, for me, if you're an Ivory Coast fan or an Ivory Coast football follower or just someone from there, could be excited, man. He's nothing like Yaya Toure, but... He could develop into being something like that. He's one of them. I'll be keen to see at 22 what sort of midfielder he actually is. He's incredibly raw. The consistency is here and not there, so he's hot and cold. But I like him, man. I like how he wants to play under pressure. I like how he's not afraid to put a foot in. And I like how he can carry a ball, to be fair with you. Decent range, like I said, man. Um, yeah, man. He's probably for someone who can get in the final third so much, probably could do better in front of goal in terms of just... It, to take away from scoring, just the taking of chances he makes. But he's someone that looks like they could develop into stuff. He's six foot, technical ability. He's very robust and can be physical. So he can be whatever sort of midfielder, in my opinion, he wants to be. But it, like you see with a lot of players, there's going to be a time and a place he's going to have to decide specifically what sort of midfielder he wants to be and go about it in that way. Um, so we'll see how that one develops. We'll see how we'll see how he goes, man. But yeah, he's made twenty two appearances so far, man, and he's doing his thing. And off topic, I just wanted to say this because some a, a, a centre half that I was following, um, not religiously, but just following on the basis of the Liverpool links, Modibo. I cannot say his last name, but Modibo. I put it in the thingy, the name thing, the what's the thing called, the description. But he's actually agreed a £5 million move to Sociedad at the end of the season, forgive me if I'm wrong. Liverpool tried to get him. Admittedly, when I've seen him, I'm a bit undecided. I've seen good stuff, I've seen bad stuff. He's one of them, I need to watch him a lot more to really get an eye of his. But if he's gone for £5 million and he's turning 20 and he's come from Lenz's academy, it can't be half bad if Liverpool... I feel Liverpool, when it comes to scouting, they're, they're doing their thing in the last few months or to a year. Um, it can't be half bad. So I thought I'd just mention that. But in regards to Hamed Traore... I like him a lot, man, and Florentina fans or fans of that football club, you should be quite excited as to what he could ha could happen from next season. He's not perfect. He's not going to be the finished article overnight. He is incredibly raw, but there's something about him that's very likable, in my opinion. On that note, I'm going to keep it moving. There's not much more for me to say. People, deluded, I'm out.